Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding number of calls between two persons and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Facebook and Amazon interviews a number of times over the past one year. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called calls with three different columns from ID to ID and the duration and all the data types being integer. There is no primary key and therefore it can contain duplicates. And it makes sense because a person is calling right the other person. So in a particular day or on various occasions, one person can call another person multiple times. So it can contain duplicates. This table contains the duration of the phone call between from ID and to ID and from ID is not equal to to ID. So obviously you cannot make a call to yourself. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of calls and the total call duration between each pair of distinct persons, person one and person two, where person one is less than person two. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go through this example. So here, uh, the conversation is between uh, so the call went from a person with ID 1 to a person with ID 2 and the duration was 59 seconds. Then the call came from second to first person and 11 right. But here we need to because either uh, ID 1 talks with ID 2 or ID 2 talks with ID 1. The conversation is happening between ID 1 and 2 right. So the total should be for 1 and 2. 59 plus 11, right? So it would be 70 and how many times they talked? Twice, right? So for one and three, there is only one. So one call and 20 seconds. Between three and four, so one, two, three, and this is also between three and four. So four calls and you sum all this and you get the total duration. So this is what the output is, right? So between one and two, two, and total duration between one and three, one call, 20 seconds, between three and four, four calls, and total 999 seconds. Okay, so let's start developing this query. So the first thing that we need to do is from the units table, we need to see like, even if it is going from one to two, or it is going from two to one, we need to categorize them as one right you need to identify them as one so what you can do is from this table called calls you can return the from and to ids based on certain conditions basically the conversation is going between one and two right so it does not matter who calls who right and the output should have you know distinct persons where person one is less than person two right so based on this we assign this right so what we do is we use case when straight because we are doing if else kind of st statements right here so case when from id is less than to id then from id so basically if you see between one and two right so between one and two if one is less than two so your first person is going to be from id right so one but if your you know from id is not less than two id right so you return the first person to be this right again reiterating because we need to make pairs where person one is less than person two right so else so either this can be true or another case would be this is the reverse case right so instead of writing that since we know there's only one case possible so else you return to id right and you end this as person one right now for person two so now what you did was so let's say for cursor one, one cursor went here right so between one and two uh, like from id is less than to id so for this it will return one right a person one is one but you also need to return the person two right so you can write another case statements case when from id is less than to id right 
so in this case what you are because you are going for second person right so then you are returning to id else you are returning from id and as person 2 so basically now what will happen so between 1 and 2 for this person 1 right so 1 was less than 2 so 1 will be assigned to person 1 and between 1 and 2 for this second case statements again 1 is less than 2 so 2 id will be assigned to person 2 right so this is how we will be having right so so let me just you know uh, write down the outputs what it will have so for first row right so let me say so they, this table will be having two columns person one person two right so for the first one right one is less than two one is less than two then return the lower one so one in person one and when one is less than two return the bigger one for person two right so it will return one here two here for second one right for two and one again two is not less than uh, one so it will return what two id two id is one so one and it will go to for this one two is less than one no so it will return from id from id is two right so one two right and if if we you know even return the duration column let's say we are also returning the duration column right so here we will be having duration and in this case it would be 59 and in this case it would be 11 now once you group by you know person 1 and 2 and sum it up you will be having 70 right so this is what you need to do so for 1 and 2 the total duration is 70 so i hope you understand this okay so what we can do is we can you know store this entire thing into a common table expression so with cte as put everything in parentheses and now based on this using this common table expressions right what we are doing we are grouping by person one person two then we are returning person one person two then we are we need to count so how do we count all the rows count star right and the alias should be call count right so count star as call count and then the finally the fourth column is total duration right so you sum the duration column and alias it as total duration okay so since we do not need to order the result in any order and i think it, it will work uh, let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it if to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases it is a success um, this is how we solve this question again it seems difficult but or, or medium kind of medium difficulty question but it is not all you need to do is you know try to make sure that whether the con call is going from id 1 to 2 or 2 to 1 you need to basically categorize them as same thing there is another way to do this instead of using case when what you can do is you can take the least values from these two columns and assign it to person 1 and the maximum value of these two columns and assign it as person 2 so like least from between 1 and 2 is 1 and max is 2 again least between 2 and 1 is 1 max is 2 right so you can do that like let me know uh, if you can write query using you know least and greatest functions comment down in the section uh, comment section below and let's let's see like what you are able to come up with so yeah this is how we can solve this question uh, let me know if this video is useful and i will see you guys in the next video